So continuing on from yesterday I got hold of some more timber from the local timber merchant and started putting the cross members in to support the baseboard at the back of the track. So having secured the three cross members the next job is to put the baseboard for the back in place and screw it down. So before doing that I'm going to drill some holes in the cross members to take the DCC bus cable. There you can see I've drilled a couple of 10 meter holes in the cross member in order to take the uh, DCC bus wires and any other cables I need to feed underneath the board. So we've now got the rear base board goes across the back of the loft screwed and fixed. Last thing we just need to do is to uh, fit the back panel to it which I'll do next. So back panel is now in place that completes the rear section across the width of the loft. Now in order to stop a little bit of flexing I'm going to fit a cross member under here uh, just to make this slightly more rigid. So that completes fitting the strengthening pieces to the left hand side. So now we've just got to repeat that for the right hand side and the job will be done. This is a view of the U track. You can see the degree to which it will allow me to extend the layout. I think you would agree is quite considerable. So that covers the building of the baseboards for the extension to the track. The next videos will cover the actual laying of the track and the alterations I have to make to the existing layout in order to join it to the new section of track. I'd like to thank you for watching and if you've enjoyed this perhaps you'd consider subscribing so you can see what has to come in the future.